Welcome back to Houston Life. Well, looking for something fun to do with the family this weekend outdoors because weather is going to be fantastic. We have the 50th annual Bayou City Art Festival. It's happening in downtown. It's one of our favorite events of the year. There you can see and shop for beautiful works of art and meet the artists behind them, of course. Here with a look at what's new this year, please welcome the president of the board, Mike Bidet, and featured artist Cindy Alms. Welcome back to Houston Life. We love this time of year. And uh, congratulations, by the way, Cindy, on being the featured artist. Artist. Thank you. How did you find out and how do you feel about this honor? I did, they called me a few months ago and I was just thrilled. I couldn't believe it. It's a great honor. This and city does a great job promoting the artists, so it's a special honor, more than other shows. It's really great. And Mike, I mean, 50 years, congratulations, because yep. this show is one that many artists across the country want to be part of. Yeah, I wasn't there in the first year, but <laughs> um, yeah, the old Westheimer Art Festival is where yeah. it started. And we're celebrating 50. We were here in the spring when we were in Memorial Park, and now we're downtown. So we do the fall downtown in the spring in Memorial Park. Over 200 artists, 19 different um, fields of art, including Cindy's wonderful work as our featured artist. A new culinary arts section. Uh, we have some wine. We have Carbach has made special beer with the 50th anniversary branding on it. So uh, music, come on down. There's going to be 20, 25,000 people. Weather's perfect. Whoever's in charge of the weather did a nice job. So we're, we're really excited. It's our meteorologists here at <laughs> KPRC, too. They're in charge. It's a group effort, it, really. It, it really is. <laughs> so as you mentioned, springtime, the event happens at Memorial Park, which is a fabulous place for it. In the fall, it's always downtown. And for people who have never been, I mean, you mentioned a little bit about what uh, people can experience there. Are there new things that, that people can look forward to this year? You know, the, I think the biggest new thing we have is for the first time ever, we have a collegiate art group. So three artists from the University of Houston, one from Lone Star, one from HCC, who have never been part of a oh. festival before, will be out there showing their, their artwork off for the first time. So it's a great place to start, right, Cindy? I mean, you, you get an opportunity to show your art. There's so many great, all of our universities in the area all have great art programs. And so we thought where we do the middle school art program in the spring, we're going to do the collegiate art program in the fall. So that's new. And then the culinary art piece is really some of the top chefs in Houston are taking turns on that stage to do some culinary art. So those are the two big things. It's big really wonderful to kind of have that uh, spotlight on both the culinary and the art side. Uh, Cindy, back to you and your pieces because these are so lovely um, and they're mixed media, is that right? And it looks like some paper on there. I mean, how long yeah. does it take you to make either one of these? Well, I, I was saying it's, it depends on how intricate the laying of paper. Uh, they're all made, the entire base is, are many, many different patterned papers. So the image itself is built up with the paper and then the acrylic paint is on top to further embellish and define the features of the form. But there are many layers. And I know for many artists, Cindy, the, the style sort of evolves over the course of their career. It's really interesting to see, you know, decade by decade, how yeah. the different paint yeah. choices uh, evolve. Has your style evolved from the beginning? Well, very much so. Uh, the subject matter has actually not changed at all, but four years ago I decided to lay down my traditional paintbrush and I started working with the paper. So I, I've been really discussing the spirit of the female for over 30 years, but uh, four years ago I started really talking about her. It's really beautiful. Your work is unbelievable. Um, and I know at some point you did have a gallery too in Ohio. And mm -hmm. so now your way of getting your artwork out is doing shows, something yeah. like what we're going to see you at this weekend. How important is that for you to have people come out to these types of events? It's, uh, it's so important because if you think about it, you're in your studio and you're all alone and you're not getting any feedback other than what you're saying in your own head, which could be completely wrong. I learned so much from exposing my art to an audience. They tell me a lot about what I'm doing and, and what they're seeing and what they're feeling and then that helps me to further define my work. And Mike, what Cindy said, I, I'm sure uh, rings true for a lot of the artists you work with and for, for any art lovers out there, instead of just going to a gallery or maybe purchasing something online, the Bayou City Art Festival really is an incredible opportunity to meet face to face with this person who created incredible work. Yeah, and we have over 200 artists right as I mentioned before and I was telling somebody earlier today someone like me who's just getting into the art field over time you think you like a certain kind of art sure. and when you go to an art festival you can see all of it and decide okay I think I really want to focus on that or this really fits my home or this really fits my heart 
And when you have as, as an array of artists that we have, it gives you an opportunity to see it all in one place, whether it's sculptures or something for outside or inside. I was telling Cindy, my wife changed our entire dining room into a wine bar based off one piece of art. Right? Wow. Love it. And uh, you never know what the inspiration is going to be. That's true. Exposure goes both way for Absolutely. the artist and for those of us coming to the festival. Yep. Awesome. We do want to put up the event details on our screen for our viewers happening this weekend, October 8th and 9th down at Sam Houston Park in downtown Houston. Tickets are just 18 bucks for adults, five bucks for children ages six to 12. Free if you're under five. BayouCityArtFestival.com is the website to visit. Cindy and Mike, thank you so much for stopping by Houston Life. That was fun. Thank you guys thank very you. much. Happy anniversary. My thank pleasure. you so much. And congratulations once again <laughs> on being you. the featured artist. That is a huge honor. Remember to get those tickets online for the festival, BayouCityArtFestival.com, or you can call 713-521-0133.